It is an honor to present to you this year's recipient of the ELCIC in Mission for Others Leadership Award. Introduced at the 2017 ELCIC National Convention as part of our commemoration of the 500th anniversary of the Reformation, this award recognizes an individual, rostered or lay, who is committed to advancing the mission and ministry of the ELCIC and demonstrating leadership in Mission for Others. To be considered for the award, nominations are submitted along with letters of support indicating how the individual meets the following criteria. Making an outstanding contribution over several, several years to the life and work of the wider church, going the extra mile to serve both community and church, demonstrating a life of spirited discipleship, and modeling for others one or more of the ELCIC's strategic directions. Tonight, we are honored to, we honor an individual whose involvement in the church truly represents what it means to be in mission for others throughout all expressions of the ELCIC. Nationally, she is secretary of the ELCIC Program Committee for, Leader for Worship. She attends and participates in the national worship conferences and actively contributes with the committee to create worship resources for small assemblies. She has also contributed to our national devotional publication, Eternity for Today. Synodically, this individual has participated for many years in writing and submitting articles for Adermas, a newsletter for the arts ministry team of the Synod of Alberta and the Territories. In 2018, she was chair of the worship planning team for the ABT Synod Convention. She has also prepared worship resources for congregations, which she shares each year at Synod Congregational Life events. And in her local congregation, this individual has served in every conceivable role, most predominantly on the worship planning team responsible for Sunday morning worship. When she was 14, she began serving as accompanist for worship and choir. For about 20 years, she has chaired her congregation's worship planning committee. In addition, she arranges for music and musicians for each worship service, has assisted with planning the local ecumenical reformation service in Lethbridge last October, serves on the call committee when needed, and currently serves as council chair. When you ask our recipient why she loves to do all these things, she is quick to say that they are life-giving for her, exemplifying the ELCIC's strategic priority of empowered disciples. I love this quote from one of our many letters of support that we received with her nomination. I have learned a lot from her, and I know there must be hundreds of people all across Canada who have known their spiritual lives deepened and their Sunday liturgies enlivened by her. At this time, I would like to call forward to the stage this year's recipient of the 2019 ELCIC in Mission for Others Leadership Award, Carolyn Ethier. Thank you, Bishop Susan, Trina, members of National Church Council, uh, and to those who put my name forward for this incredible honor. Um, it's truly overwhelming to be standing in this place. <sighs> Just let me catch my breath. <sighs> in the weeks since I received Trina's email telling me of the NCC selection, I've been reflecting a bit on God's call and on leadership, 
And what stands out immediately, and I'm sure you can appreciate this, is that I was never called, act, called to act alone. So I am filled with deep gratitude for companions, sometimes maybe co-conspirators who have shared the journey. Um, in those early years of ministry with children and youth or with young adults experiencing uh, transformational learning in Mexico, with church council and Bible study groups with music and worship, people in our church family, our home church family, our ecumenical friends, partners in our Synod Worship and Arts Ministry team and the Program Committee for Worship. Uh, we've always shared the work and the challenge and the joy and the fulfillment of serving together. I give thanks for clergy who have affirmed and mentored me, pastors, spiritual guides, in my home congregation, again in my synod and in the wider church, who have nurtured my particular gifts along the way, sometimes by inviting me into ministry and trusting the Spirit's work within me, and most importantly, helping me to know deep in my heart whose I am. <clears throat> Sorry. Helping me know ever more fully that my home is in God, where love dwells and where grace is absolute. A home so secure that there is freedom to step beyond fear, to take risks, to be open, to be vulnerable. I give thanks for my family into which I was labored and loved. My husband, Dan, you are a gift. And I'm so grateful for you and for our walk together and for the love and the open-heartedness and joy we share with our children and grandchildren. I'm thankful for our ELCIC that celebrates the reality that we are a church made up of so many people doing so many small and significant things things that added together shape communities that bear the image of Christ. Finally, and somewhat surprisingly, receiving this award has led me to ask new questions about God's call and leadership. At this stage in my life, what space am I now being called to open up to others? How might I invite others to see and explore the vocation within where and who they are? This feels like a lovely transition. Isn't God so very good? Thank you for this great honor. I am deeply grateful. Thank you.